Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Maximum Questions Time for No Stylus, and today we're having a look at an application called Procreate, which I really like. And what I've got here is a drawing which is actually by an artist called Paul Sample, and he did a lot of ugly cartoons in bike magazines in the 80s. I don't know if he does them anymore, but um, these uh, cartoons were my favourites, and one of the things I always turned to first in the magazine when I bought the magazine every month when I was a motorcycle rider. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at putting some colours into this drawing. And what I've got here so far is I've just got this layer here. And on the layer I've got just uh, the um, black drawing there. Now what we want to do is put some colours in there. So there's a couple of ways of going about this here. Now really what we should do is to work this on a separate layer because we don't want to sort of uh, go over the top of what we've got already. So we'll get a separate layer going there by tapping on that plus there on the corner. We'll put this layer underneath the, draw, the layer that's there already. Click and hold that, bring it down, and now it's underneath. Okay, so now we've got this thing on here, we've got Select Contents. So I've got that co content selected, and now what I could do with that is if I wanted to, I could go to the brush, uh, let's change this colour, put a nice purple in there, and uh, then I can go into this brush here and I can paint all of that there. And the whole thing is going to be turned purple. And uh, we don't actually want that, but uh, it's, it's something you could do where you've got all of the contents of one layer there, all sort of uh, change colour there, and it's quite easy to do. So let's uh, do an undo on that there. So let's go to our layers. And what I want to do is, first of all, I want to protect this layer. So let's have it so that it's alpha locked. And if I alpha lock it, it means that the only parts can be drawn on now are the parts which are already been drawn on. They're not transparent. So let's uh, try the same thing again, except this time I haven't got the content selected. So what I'm going to do now is go back to the brush tool. And with the brush tool, let's um, draw on this here. Let's go for a hard brush. So we'll change the size of the brush there. And now I can draw on that there. And as you can see, the alpha lock is preventing me from drawing on the background part of it. If I hadn't got the alpha lock on there, I'd be drawing through all of the whole drawing there and messing the whole sort of thing up. And I'd be losing what I'd uh, got started. So if you've got an outline there and you're happy with it, then set the alpha lock on it and protect the drawing. And then put everything else that you want to draw onto different layers. It's a very good reason why you're going to use layers in this application. What you can do with this here, once you've chosen your colour, you can then sort of get all of that there, I did a pinch out, uh, that to get there, I can do a pinch back in again, so I can go around, change the colours there, and then when I've got the colour blue that I want there, I can go in there, and then I can choose whether I want it to be, you know, lights or darks or whatever else, and that's quite neat, isn't it? So back there to put it with black again, and let's choose the um, paint, and go for a larger one there, and put it all in black again. That has happened because I've got the alpha lock on. As you can see from the uh, corners of this little uh, thing here, this little um, white corners on there, that shows that the alpha lock is on, and that's a good thing to do. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some colours in there. So we're going to layer two, we're going to fill the colours in there. So let's zoom in on this here. And I'm going to make this petrol tank red. So let's uh, get the red at there and choose the red that we want. That red looks lovely. You may think that what you're going to have to do with this here is you're going to have to choose your um, brush size there and do this here. Now I've got it set so that uh, only the uh, I'm going on the bottom layer there and I'm just sort of uh, manually colouring that in. And it's not going over the black because I'm painting under the black at the moment because I'm on a different layer, remember. So that would be one way of doing it. So what we're going to do with this highlight is let's uh, zoom in on a bit closer. And uh, put in a highlight there. And if you put the highlight in, you see that what's happened here is that the colour has gone over onto this other area over here. This this area to one side. And we don't want it to go into there. So what we want to do as well is we want to do it so that we protect the areas where these colours go. And we want to do it faster as well. So let's find a fast way of doing this here. Another trick you can do with this here, do a quick pinch in and it takes it back to uh, the fill in the screen. That's kind of nice. So the first thing to do is to go to this one here and we've got the alpha selected so on this layer one. And what we can do as well is we can do two fingers slide to the right and now that is going to be a reference layer. So you see it's a reference layer because it's coloured purple there now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag that across there and put it into where I want the tank to get the coloured tank to be. And you see it's allowed me to choose a threshold of 63% and it's filled just that area. If I turn that uh, layer, top layer off there, you see it's actually filled it perfectly right up to the edges there. Which means that we can go to other colours there. So if we want to go for this colour over here, we've got a colour to fill in his jean colours there. 
So let's go back to this. So what I want to do is I'm dragging and dropping from the color that's there. Hold it into the area I want to fill and then I've got my threshold. You see I'm moving the, the threshold from 60%, 67% and I've got that colored in. I'll just show you how it's done again. Let's drag that over there and I can quickly sort of fill these colors in. So you have to wait just a little bit before it sort of uh, finds the shape that it's got to fill into. But it's using the black area of the drawing as the reference. And we did that by making that a reference layer in layer one. And we're painting into layer two. So this is Dave Allen, No Stylus, showing you a few things that you can do with Procreate. Bye-bye now.